welcome back to my channel it is tiffany or texture love and i am back with another video and in this video i am going to be sharing my top leave-in conditioners for moisture that work on any hair type so i have high porosity hair but specifically i wanted to make a video that shows leave-in conditioners that i have tried over and over and over again that i feel would work best on any hair type. How I came to this conclusion, my high porosity hair plus looking at reviews here on YouTube and on Instagram and Facebook of other naturals with different porosities and different hair types and they have all recommended at some point or another one of these leave-in conditioners that I'm about to show you. So just to be clear, this is not my leave-in conditioner holy grails. These are not my top 10 leave-in conditioners, none of that. These are just the leave-in conditioners that I feel, based on my research and on my own hair, I feel that these leave-in conditioners would be best for any hair type, any porosity. So let's go. All right, so if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Join the Texture Love crew. Don't forget you can follow me on Instagram at texturelove16 and also on Facebook at Texture Love Always. Click the notification bell so that you know when I upload new videos and you never miss an upload. And if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. I have organized these leave-in conditioners alphabetically, so let's go ahead and get started with the first one. This is by Annabelle's Perfect Blends. If you can see the Annabelle's right there. This is the Honey it's a three in one. So this can be a leave-in conditioner. Yes, I believe it's a leave-in conditioner. It can also be um, a styler. And I forgot what else you can do with this, but it's three things that you can do with it. I like to use it as a leave-in. It is very creamy, but it's not heavy at all. And because of the honey, it is super moisturizing. So again, criteria for this video, something that can work on any hair type and something that's extremely moisturizing. This definitely fits the bill. The honey really just packs that moisture punch. It does, it kind of like defines your curls, I find. I know it did for me. And again, I did look at other videos and I looked at other reviews on social media and many other people with different hair types and different porosities rave about this leave-in conditioner. So it is amazing. Don't forget, check the description box because I'll have all of the products that I talk about in this video listed in the description box along with a link as to where you can purchase. Second one is the Camille Rose Lavender Collection. This is the whipped cream leave-in from the Lavender Collection. This, I actually got this in the curl box when they did the special um, curl box for the Lavender Collection when it dropped. This is also at Target. You can find this on the Camille Rose Naturals website. So I like this because not only does it smell good, but the consistency of this, I'm going to see if I can try to show you. The consistency of this, as you'll see when I try to like shake it down. Okay, so I just put like a little bit on my finger, if you can see that there, but the consistency of it is very light. But when it goes into my fingers, see how it just kind of absorbs? It's highly absorbent. So if you have low porosity hair, one of the things that you don't want is to get like a thick product that just sits on top of your hair. This not only does it smell great, but because of the whipped consistency, it's very light, but it is super moisturizing at the same time. I use this on soaking wet hair, it works very well. If you're low porosity, you might wanna try this on damp hair, and you might wanna try warming up this leave-in conditioner just a little bit, like letting it sit out and warm up, and then applying it to your hair. But it smells great, it's very moisturizing. The whipped texture really does allow it to just soak into the strands and I like it so much. I just wish, as with most Camille Rose natural things, I wish it wasn't so pricey, but it's very good and it's easy to find it in a lot of different places. Next is the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength Leave-In Conditioning Cream. So this is, um, this one, I've actually done a review on this before. I'm gonna link it up in the cards. I reviewed the whole line. This shocked me. The one thing I will say about this is the consistency of this was very creamy. It soaked right into my hair. Again, my hair is high porosity. 
I applied this to wet hair and my hair drank this up. Not only did it drink it up, but it left my hair feeling extremely silky and very, very, very smooth. I was shocked because this product actually has a silicone in it. So let me see. It has amyl dimethicone and it is the one, two, three, four, five. So amyl, amyl dimethicone is the sixth ingredient and then dimethicone is the third ingredient in this. And normally I don't like to have so much silicone in my product because it makes my hair feel very plasticky, but I reapplied this during the course of two weeks to my hair when it was, you know, I would just spray it with water and then reapply after I had styled. And I was shocked. This actually left my hair feeling very soft and very silky and very moisturized the entire two weeks that I used it when I used it to style. Again, the it'll be linked up in the cards if it wasn't already and it'll be in the description box, my full review of this line. The only thing I will say about this that I really just could not stand, the smell. It smells like ginger and black seed oil and some other things because ginger and black seed oil are in here, but it, it really smells like ginger and spicy peppers so imagine like cayenne and jalapeno mixed with ginger that's what this smells like i don't really like the smell it does not linger so that's one of the reasons why i continue to use this um, i don't use it often but when i do use it it really leaves my hair very silky and very smooth feeling and moisturized all right next up on the list one of my all-time favorites, you guys, the Mayel Organics Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. This leave-in conditioner is so silky. It is so silky. It is so moisturizing. It soaks into my hair, another good sign. And this, this is extremely moisturizing. It smells very good. And how I know that this definitely works for other hair types, this is marketed for type 4 hair, which I do not have. I have more of like 3C, 4A here, but that's not even really the point. The point is this is marketed for kinky, coily, low porosity here, to be honest. Like when I've looked on Mayel's uh, website, when I have looked at the way they've marketed this, they have not marketed this for high porosity here. They have not marketed this for, um, you know, like here that is fine or that is thinner. They've marketed this for thick, coily, kinky hair, and I love this stuff. Now, mind you, my hair is thick, it's high density, it is high porosity, it is fine though. I don't have like thick, thick strands, I just have a lot of hair, um, but my strands in itself are fine. Doesn't matter. This is extremely moisturizing, this gets my hair defined, it gets my hair moisturized, it makes my curls, it's a perfect primer as a leave-in. So I will forever really just love this leave-in, I always keep it in stock. And as a matter of fact, on the Mayel Organics website, I believe they're having 40% off of the pomegranate and honey line right now. So definitely want to stock up on that. But this is a great, great leave-in. Love it a lot. All right, moving right along. Next is the Naturally United Curls Cake Batter. This actually has a new name. This is an older label now. It, this has switched to Prep and Prime. This cake batter, it smells just like cake batter, like the name says. It is full of amazing ingredients, like, um, I'll put the ingredients for things, like the key ingredients in the description box. This one has water, avocado oil, black castor oil, grapeseed oil, mango fruit extract. This is really, really, really great, super moisturizing. It is a little thick, so if you have, um, you know, thicker hair or low porosity hair, you definitely want to let this warm up a little bit. But like I said, I have seen other people on social media, Instagram specifically, using this with all different hair types. You can use this as a leave-in, you can use this as a pre-poo, you can use this as a deep conditioner. That's another reason why I really wanted to recommend this particular one. Again, it's called the Prep and Prime. I do have a code for this, it's Tiffany10, and I will um, put that in the description box as well. But this leave-in conditioner is super moisturizing, a little bit goes a long way. And even if you don't like it as a leave-in for your particular hair type and your porosity, you can always use it as a deep conditioner. All right, coming up to another one of my top favorites. You guys have heard me talk about this. If you follow me on Instagram, I talk about this brand a lot. I've done reviews on this brand here on this channel. I will continue to, again, check the description box. I'll link that stuff there. But 
This is the Obia Naturals Babasu Detangling Conditioner. You guys, this is actually a conditioner. It's not marketed as a leave-in. It's marketed as a detangling rinse-out conditioner that you're supposed to use after you shampoo. This is only eight ounces. I don't know about you, but I have way too much here to be rinsing out eight ounce products. So I definitely use this as a leave-in. It's super moisturizing and it is one of the best leave-ins that I own. So definitely, I think you should check this out. Again, if you're into all natural and vegan, this brand is vegan. I do have a code, TextureLove16. This gets my hair together every single time. Another good thing about this one, I can use this with different products from different brands and it pairs well. So this is a good leave-in for if you wanna just use a leave-in with another brand or just like a leave-in that will not clump up or flake or anything like that, this is great for that. Another one of the leave-ins that I really like because it's super nourishing, the Paidana Collection Avocado Herbal Silk Leave-In. You guys, if you don't know, um, I have used Paidana Collection for quite some time. Again, all this stuff will be in the description box. This leave-in is amazing it's kind of thick a little thick but not too thick the avocado really sets this apart it really hydrates my hair deeply and i feel like if you are low porosity this is also a very good leave-in for you because it is not too thick where it will sit on top of your hair this soaks into wet hair this soaks into dry hair and again I have known several people on social media with different hair types and different porosities that really, really like this brand. I do have a code for this as well, and I will put it in the description box and up here. The code for this one, I believe my code for this is Texture20. Yeah, Texture20. But this is the Pythonic Collection. Avocado Herbal Silk Leave-In. Really, really good. Another leave-in that I definitely recommend is the Untie the Knot by Trey Lux. Trey Lux, it took me forever to realize that this was a black owned brand, actually. I have been using Trey Lux for quite some time. I haven't had a chance to review it on my channel, but if you follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, you'll see that I have used this brand quite a bit. Um, this is a very, very, very moisturizing leave-in conditioner. I would not suggest, uh, this says it's for wavy, curly, and coily hair. Um, it detangles, nourishes, and replenishes moisture for lively curls. I do find that it's a great detangler. I do find that it's very moisturizing. I haven't actually tried to use this with other brands, but what I will say is this does provide a ton of slip. So that's definitely, definitely a plus. I really, really like this. Um, and again, right now, actually, Trey Lux is having a sale at Walgreens. So they're supporting racial injustice through a Beauty of Justice campaign. They have 25% 25, 25 off of all of their products at Walgreens. And whatever you purchase, any the proceeds from your purchases right now and through July 25th, go to several initiatives for fighting social injustice for African Americans. So that's a really great cause. You can do that through July 25th. Again, information will be in the description box. But this is a good one. My last one, you guys. Last one is the Strands of Faith from the Holy Grail Collection. This is the leave-in conditioner. Super, 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 super moisturizing, okay? If you're looking for moisture, this is definitely it. This is also really great for multiple hair types. The owner of this brand, Amika Coleman, wonderful lady, uh, she actually has thicker type, what you would consider type four, low porosity hair. That's specifically kind of what she made this for. It says it on the label. This is an older one. I believe she's changed the labels to include for all hair types because this really does work for all hair types. But originally when she had it, it was for type four hair for like thicker, kinkier, coilier hair. Y'all, I started using this and this gave me so much moisture that I immediately became a fan and now I use her entire line in my rotation of some of my favorite products. This is a very, very good leave-in conditioner, you guys. It's so moisturizing. It works really well. I don't care what your hair type is. I don't care what your porosity is. This will work. She specifically formulated her products to impart moisture into hair that's very dry. I have very dry hair because I'm high porosity and this does exactly that. It's super moisturizing. Obviously it's silicone free. Um, it's very curly girl friendly and it has babasu oil, kukui and baobab oils. So this video is getting really long, so that's it. Those are the leave-in conditioners that I feel would work on any hair type, any porosity. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one.